Ludolf, Grammatica Russica, De Animalibus, Episode 3. Interpisces eminet sterlet, qui intercopedias russicas merdre consendus. Capet et cauda longa sunt, ut ipsum corpus vix dimidiam piscis partem excedat. Squamis destitutus est, sed cuta instar anguillae praeditus. Ili maxime aestimantur, quordrum cutis interior pars flava est. Now, Ludolf is going to talk about some of the fish. He says, among the fish, the sterlet stands out or is prominent. This eminet is emineo eminere, a second conjugation verb. It stands out, a fish which cansendus est, cansendus est, must be counted, truly, merdre cansendus, must truly be counted among Russian delicacies, copedias rusicas. Cansendus is from the verb canseo, like so, it also is second conjugation, like emineire, and here it is being used as a gerundive, cansendus, that is a passive periphrastic, so we have to understand it is cansendus est. The sterlet, which must be counted, truly, merdre cansendus, among Russian delicacies, so cuperias rusicas, is the accusative object of inter. Its head, caput, and its tail are long. That's a very simple sentence, isn't it? Caput et cauda longa sunt. Its head and tail are long, so that, ut, the body itself, ipsum corpus, hardly surpasses vix excedat dimidiam partem, the half part of the fish. So the head itself almost makes up half of the length of the entire fish. So here we have a result clause with the ut excedat. So excedat is a third singular, present, subjunctive, and active from the third conjugation, excedo, excedere, like so. Its object is partem, modified by demidiam, and there is piscis in the genitive. The subject, of course, corpus. So this is, as I said, a result clause, an untiatum consecutivum, a consecutive clause. Then he goes on and he says, the fish is devoid, destitutus est, the fish is lacking in or devoid of scales, squamis destitutus est. And squamis here is going to be an ablative, an ablative of separation. It is lacking in scales, but... It is endowed, praeditus, it's furnished with uh, a skin or a hide, cute, that is instar anguillae, that is in the image or the appearance of an eel, anguillae. So this is a feminine singular and genitive patterning with instar, which works like a preposition. Then he has a summary statement here, illi, masculine plural and nominative, referring to the sterlet, which is a kind of sturgeon, apparently, these fish, illi, are valued very highly, or most highly, maxime aistimantur, aistimantur from aistimo aistimare, first conjugation verb, used to describe the price of something or the value. These sterlets are valued very highly, of which, or whose, cutis interior pars, whose interior part, or the interior part of its skin, or its flesh, cutis, is yellow, flower est. So cutis here is the subject, it's in the nominative, and it's modified by interior and pars, and then flawa is the predicate. So of which the interior part is, or the interior part of the skin is a yellow color, flower. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.